Good morning everyone. I am Yogeshwar. Hope you all are fine. We are facing the bad weather right now. We are facing the heat wave. Right? So, we are not able to conduct our physical classes. But, we will be happy to know that we are going to take our online classes for you. Now, open your in this book at page number 11. In our previous classes, we have already learned about the water, vitamins, foods, nutrients, uh, advantage of cooking food, right? Yes. Today, we will learn about the precautions that must be taken while we are cooking. Okay. Some foods like vegetables, something like tomatoes, carrots, or the foods like eggs, they must not be overcooked. They must not be overcooked because the overcooking destroys the vitamins in them. And some vitamins are soluble in water. Some vitamins are soluble in water. And when we get the vegetable soap in water, the vitamins dissolve in the water. And when we throw out the water, we just lost the vitamins. We just lost the vitamins. Yes. Therefore, foods must be cooked with just enough water so that we can avoid losing nutrients. Okay? And Whenever we are going to take some vegetables or fruits, okay, the peels are must be. <coughs> we, we, we have to peel or cut the fruits or cut the vegetables and wash that things before cooking, okay? Because vitamins and minerals are present just below the skin of these vegetables and fruits. Now, we are going to tell about the digestion of food. Digestion of food. We are going to learn about the digestion of food. We are going to learn about the digestion of food. We are going to learn about the digestion of food. We are going to learn about the digestion of food. We are going to learn about the digestion of food. of digestion, the system of digestion. When we are directly absorb or eat the food, the to provide the energy, the food are not directly digest. Why? Because they have to take some step to digest in our body and take out the nutrients and minerals from them, from the eaten food, okay? Now this process of breaking down the food into a simpler form is known as digestion, is known as digestion, okay? Everyone, page number 12, look at the picture, everyone look at the picture. This is our digestion gland and this is our digestion system, okay? First of all, whenever we eat some food, the digestion begins in our mouth. The digestion begins in our mouth. Then, when you are baking down the foods in our mouth, next to the food goes through a food pipe. This is food pipe. This is food pipe. Okay? They goes through a food pipe into our stomach into our stomach, okay? They are small intestine and <coughs> large intestines and some juices which help us to digest the food and break it down more simpler form, okay? Look, in our mouth, the saliva is helping 
class to digest or breaking down the food. Okay? The smaller food pieces get mixed with the digestive liquid called saliva or saliva. Okay? In our mouth. In our mouth. And which is secreted by the salivary gland and change the insoluble starch into soluble sugar. Next, it goes through a food pipe to our stomach. To our stomach. And there some digestive juices and the muscles of stomach churning and mixing the food with this juices, with the help of the juices. And they just the digestive juices just break down into the <coughs> simpler form. Next, from the stomach, the food goes into a long coil tube, okay? Into a long coil tube. This one, okay? It is called, it is called small intestine. It is called small intestine. And inside walls of small intestine produce a juice. And that mix with the food and further it spread down more simpler form. Okay. There liver and pancreas also help us to digest the food. And finally when the liquid <coughs> form are made in our large intestine. Sorry, small intestine. The food is made in a... <coughs> Liquid form. For the day, they are going to mix with our blood the nutrients, the minerals, the vitamins, <coughs> all things digested food with the help of digested food and the liquid form of the food, then absorbing the blood with the and distribute with the blood with our body okay and the food that cannot be digested by our body goes into a large intestine which <coughs> food we are eating some foods are give us nutrients and go over the body with the help of blood but some foods are not digested in our body. So, there goes through large intestine and there they absorb water. And by the result in the information of feces that pass out of, <coughs> of the body through the anus. Amade Suride J. খাবার হজম করতে সাহায্য করে সেই প্রত্যেকটা অঙ্গ প্রত্যঙ্গকে নিয়ে আমাদের ডাইজেস্টিভ সিস্টেম তৈরি আমরা যখন মুখের ভেতরে কোনো খাবার চিবাই খাবারটাকে ভেঙে নিই তখন কিন্তু আমাদের সেখানে স্যালাইভা বা স্যালাইভা বলে লিকুইড হেল্প করে সেখান থেকে ফুড পাইপের মাধ্যমে সেটা আসে আমাদের স্টমাকে সেখানে আরও সেই খাবারটা চূর্ণ বিচূর্ণ হওয়ার পর সেটা যায় স্মল ইন্টারস্টাইনে সেখানে আরও লিকুইড থাকে লিকুইডের হেল্পে সেটা আরো ব্রেক ডাউন হতে 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 সেই খাবারটা কি হয় একটা তরল পদার্থে পরিণত হয় সেখান থেকে সেই নিউট্রিয়েন্টসটা তরল পদার্থের নিউট্রিয়েন্টসটা বের হয়ে সেটা কি হয় আমাদের রক্তের সঙ্গে সারা শরীরে ছড়িয়ে পড়ে আর যে খাবারটা হজম হয় না অপাত্র হিসাবে থেকে যায় সেই খাবারটা কিন্তু লার্জ ইন্টেস্টাইনের সাহায্যে আমাদের মল আকারে বেরিয়ে যায় শরীর থেকে ওকে আই থিঙ্ক ইউ গট দিস অ্যান্ড সুন উইল মেক ওকে অ্যান্ড উই উইল এক্সপ্লেন দ্য ডাইজেশন সিস্টেম ইলাবোরেটরি ওকে চিলড্রেন ইটস ইউর সি ডাব্লু অ্যান্ড পি ডাব্লু পেজ নাম্বার ইলেভেন টু থার্টিন ওকে গার্জেন্সের উদ্দেশ্য বলছি গার্জেনদের জন্য বাচ্চাদেরকে এই পোখর রুদ্রে একদম বের করবেন না তাদেরকে বেশি বেশি করে জল খাওয়ান তাদের শরীর যেন সুস্থ থাকে এই ব্যাপারে আপনারা একটু সচেতন থাকবেন আর যেটুকু আমি বোঝালাম সেটুকু ওদের এগারো তারিখ থেকে তেরো পাতা পর্যন্ত ওদের পিডাবলু প্লাস সিডাবলু হিসাবে থাকবে সেগুলো আপনি একটু থরলি করাবেন ওকে থ্যাংক ইউ